feel like, you know, we are, I mean, even with like television and cartoons and all of that, you see women and their characters, it's like, it's always dedicated to, you know, someone else and mm -hmm. um, searching for that instead of searching, you know, within. But what I have learned, even as a mother, because I felt like, you know, becoming a mother, you're back into that nurturing state. Yeah. It's like, the first thing that's on your mind is, are my kids happy? Yeah. Are my kids fed? Are exactly. my kids clothed? And, you know, I grew up with the understanding that if you had blood on your hands in, in because of you working so hard, then that means you're a great mom. Yeah, yeah same. If you, you're doing all the work yourself, you're getting tired doing it, you're exhausting yourself, but that's a sign that you are a great mom. mom. Yeah. But what I've realized is, you said your spiritual practices, that I am now, I literally have a do not disturb sign on my door now. And I'm unapologetic about it. In the morning, I have my spiritual practices and those are, it's that, those are my non-negotiables. And they're serving them. Yes, I will meditate, I will journal, and I will do 20 minutes of reading. And that's me tapping into me and my spirit. And I feel so much better when I start my day like that. Mm -hmm. um, because nothing is per perfect and then as you navigate through life and things happen I just feel you know more connected yeah. um, to you know get through um, the day but um, I completely understand you know what you're saying and when I don't do that um, I do feel like I'm off mm, I love the coming back home because uh, that makes sense because when I'm thinking when I'm away from it I feel lost and I do mm -hmm. feel I feel like I'm in the dark and coming back home mm -hmm. to yourself is such a beautiful way of putting with yeah. putting it yeah I love that you put a do not disturb sign ah. 